Hey guys, welcome back to another video on our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing something that's very easy that you can do at home. It only costs a little bit and it'll really dress up the rear end of your bike. What we're going to do is replace the stock license plate, just the square license plate frame that comes on your bike with a chromed curved one. And we're also going to put the Kuriakin turn signal filler panel in that fills in this gap up here after we remove this reflector. Now we've already done this to the 2014 Street Glide over here. We put the uh, chrome curve license plate frame on there, put the cover on the uh, turn signal that really dressed up the rear of the bike and it just gets that square look off the back of the bike. So before I get into the install guys, I wanna say a big huge thank you to everybody out there to subscribe to the channel. Me and my family appreciate the heck out of it. And you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button now. It really helps us keep this channel alive. Check out our channel. We got over 70 Street Glide upgrade and how-to videos. Every single time we do something to the bikes, we try to get it on video so you can make an informed decision on whether or not you want to do that to your bike. But without further ado, let's get the camera down here and get this upgrade going. So the very first thing that we need to do, guys, is take the turn signal bracket off. So it's best if you can get the bike up on a jack so you can lay down and get up under it or maybe up on a lift table so you can see up into there. But you need to just look up. You can do it on the kickstand. I've done it plenty of times, but it's a lot easier if you can get it up on a jack. Look up in here and on your turn signal bracket right here, there's a bolt here and a bolt here. You're going to need a half inch socket, get up in there, loosen those up and this thing will come completely off. The license plate frame, the turn signal bracket, everything will come off. Now once we get the two bolts out guys, it's pretty straightforward in there. There's the two bolts and they go right in here behind this. So from right here guys, you got a couple of choices. You can do it the easy way or the hard way. You can take the wiring harness off the side of your tri bar light. You can unplug it, which comes around and goes through a bracket that holds your fender onto the fender bracket and then back up to your lights. Or you can just pull this down a little bit and there's a rubber grommet right here that goes in that hole. It just pops in and out. There's not a whole lot holding it in. As you can see, I just take it off right there because what we want to get to are these two screws right back here which I'll move the camera in just a second so you can see what I'm doing. But as of right now, I'm gonna take this towel and I'm gonna tape it up on this fender so we make sure that we don't scratch anything. As you can see, right back here, there's a Torx head screw here and a Torx head screw right here. Once we release these two screws, the license plate frame will come off. We can remove our reflector. And now we just have our turn signal and there's our license plate frame, guys. This is the one we're gonna take off. Now this one will just go right back underneath here and go back in those same two screws that we just took that off of. Now there's absolutely no need to use Loctite on that one, guys, because it does have lock washers with it. You're just gonna use your existing two screws and lock washers that you took off to put that one right back on. And if I flip this over, you can see these are the two bolt holes right here that went into the fender, the first two bolts that we took out. And these are the two screws that we put in for the frame. Now, before we put this back on, guys, I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and I'm going to clean this bottom strip right here. This comes with two foam pads. It has double-sided sticky tape on one side. One's going to stick here and the other one's going to stick right here. And this is going to put pressure on the plate and keep it even with the bottom of the fender. And it's going to keep this from vibrating while you're riding. Because if you don't use these guys and this vibrates, you can cause stress fractures up here around the bolt holes and you don't want that. We're gonna activate the sticky on here by taking our thumbnail and running it back and forth across before we peel the uh, peel layer off and that activates that glue. And as you can see, guys, it's kind of just a foam piece. So it's going to put pressure on it, but also not scratch your paint. Now those are stuck on there real good. Those aren't going anywhere. What I'm going to do now, guys, is take my towel off, flip this back over, and put these bolts back in from the inside. But before I do that, guys, I'll add just a little bit of blue Loctite back on these bolts, get the bolts ran back in, and then we'll put the plate in. All right, guys, so we got the two bolts back in. Like I said, a little blue Loctite, torque them down, and you're good to go. Take the license plate frame off. As you can see, here's the rubber plug. This is a good time to make sure that you got that pushed back in all the way. Now it's just a matter of getting your plate bent to fit the bracket. What I like to do is just put one side in like that, and then just kind of push down in the middle and it'll bend and form right to the plate frame. And as you can see, it kind of stays in there now. 
Now, if you've never done one of these curved plates before, guys, don't stick one of these screws in and torque it all the way down and expect these other ones to line up because they won't. Uh, get all four of them started just slightly and then start torquing them down in a circle and you'll have it done. Now we have all four screws completely secured and the plate frame is completely installed. So I've moved the camera up here so you can see the top of the turn signal bar right here. Now that we've removed that reflector, you can see the wires and that's just a big gaudy gap right there. And Kuriakin makes that nice cover that goes on there and it just sticks on there. So we'll get this cleaned up and get that installed. Now here's the Kuriakin part that we're getting ready to put on there guys. Now this is just chromed plastic, but it is just a cap. There's no moving parts. So uh, it works very nice. We have it on our street glide over there. Like I said, this is part number 3156. It's a turn signal bar filler panel for street glide and road glide. Now it says right here on the back of the box guys, the turn signal bar filler panel fits a 10 and up street glide and 10 and up road glide. So once again, because this is double sided sticky tape, we're going to take some rubbing alcohol and clean that chrome up real good. Make sure we get any waxes or oils or anything like that off there from where we've been handling it. So once again, guys, 3M double-sided sticky tape. As with anything that you stick on your bike or anytime you use 3M sticky tape, take your thumbnail and scratch the sticky tape up like this and it'll activate the tape underneath that red film. And you can slightly pull it off of the rear fender so it's not touching. And then lay it down into place and press it in. So that's it right there, guys. We've taken the reflector off, filled that uh, gap in with the uh, Kuriakin Chrome turn signal bracket cover, and then put a chrome curve license plate on there. And it looks a lot better than it did. So that's pretty well it right there, guys. It's a very easy install. It doesn't cost a whole lot, and it really dresses up the rear end of your bike. Well, I hope that video helped you guys, and if it did, please don't forget to hit that like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Like I said, we have a ton of street light upgrade videos on there, guys. And if you have any questions on this install, please leave it in the comment box down below. I check YouTube every single day, and I'll try to help you the best that I can. But until the next video, as always, be safe and keep your knees in the breeze.